The leave year end process is an annual exercise conducted at the end of the leave year. It ensures that all leave related details such as lapses, encashments and carry forward balances are in place before the next leave year begins. On Great HR, you can complete your leave year end process in one of two ways, automatic or manual. The manual year end process allows more control by making customizations possible. So, let's find out how to process leave year end manually from Great HR. While working on Great HR, you would have noticed a banner informing you about your leave year end process and the activities you need to do in Great HR. By default, the leave year end process is set up automatically in your account. You can always click here on the edit button to make changes at your convenience. From this banner, you need to select the second option, no, I prefer to do it manually, to complete the process manually. Click on submit to confirm. However, as an admin, a few things need to be wrapped up for the current leave year, before you can do the leave year end. Number 1, you need to make sure there is no leave request pending approval, this is to ensure all employee leaves, are considered for the leave year end activity. Number 2, if required, make changes to the existing leave policy. Then finally, complete your leave year end process manually. Let's move on to the first task, clear the pending leave application. Navigate to leave, admin, and then year end process. The first tab is pending application. This tab displays the pending leave applications that must be approved before proceeding to the next level of the leave year end process. Select the employees. You can click on reminders email to send emails to all the reviewers. As an admin, you can always accept or reject these requests from here. Accept these requests to ensure all employee leaves are considered for the leave year end activity. The next tab is year end policy. This tab displays the leave schemes with the associated leave policies. You can modify the leave policies as per your need. Click on the scheme and now you can see the list of leave types available under this leave scheme. Click here on the edit button to modify the leave policy about leave carry forward limit, lapsing, encashment, etc. Click here to save the changes. Follow the same procedure to modify the other leave types under this scheme. Now, let's process the leave year end. Navigate to the leave overview page and click here to process the leave year end in a single click. Click here to confirm. Once this is done, you will receive the leave year process reports in your email. You can also view and download the leave year wise summary report and pending leave employee report here. After completing the year end process, if you want to make any changes to the previous year or any leave related data, you can always do the rollback by clicking on the rollback year end icon from the leave overview section. This process will delete the year end completed for all the leave types and revert the balance. Please note, once the necessary changes are done, kindly make sure you complete the year end process again. With that, we come to an end. Thank you for watching the great HR how-to video series.